Hi there, this is a quick tip for why you should always use enums for case handling. A long time ago, when I was getting started with game development, I would use strings for almost everything. So if I had some states on a character, I would do a switch on the state string and use various string cases to figure out what to do. This would work, but many times I would end up stuck with a bug just because I wrote the case string slightly wrong or accidentally capitalized the wrong letter. So in here, idle does match up with that state, but if I put a capital on the D, now all of a sudden it no longer matches and everything breaks. So obviously strings are horrible for doing case handling. So whenever you do need to do a code similar to this, instead of using a string, define a private enum for your state. And here you can define all of your values. So for example, an idle and a attack state. And our current state, instead of being a string, it will be of type state. That way our compiler will always make sure that our state variable always has valid values. So in here, obviously this is not valid. We set the state equals state.idle. And here on our switches, instead of doing switch on a string, we do on a more proper case state.idle. And just like that, if we now misspell, instead of attack, I put attack, all of a sudden we get a compiler error. So by using enums, it makes our code much easier to write correctly. Another very good use for enums is, for example, when defining item types. So in here, for example, you should not do this. If you have a class for the weapon, you should not use a string for the weapon type. So in here, if we were to create a new weapon, we would make a new weapon. So in here, this code would run, but it would not be the correct way to do it. So again, the correct way is exactly the same thing we did previously. We define a public enum and for a weapon type. And inside this enum, we put all the weapon types we want. And instead of having the weapon type string, it is now of type weapon type. And again, this keeps our code much easier to write since the compiler will help us if we do something wrong. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.